Hello everyone, welcome to the channel SRS. This is Sumit Roy and we will study structural programming today. And uh, as discussed earlier, I will break down this structural programming of MUX 16 cross 1 into four parts that is uh, source code, uh, component followed by package and main programming. Uh, the diagram for 16 cross 1 MUX has been uh, given here and I have also discussed the 16 cross 1 MUX uh, by the help of 4 cross 1 MUX in the earlier uh, video. Please uh, refer to that and then uh, follow the programming part. So, we will start with the programming. I will do the programming in a little bit different manner. That is, uh, in normal textbooks or any book you follow, uh, the component and the package or the package is uh, defined inside the main programming. But in this case, I will uh, separate it out. That is, component, I will define it in a separate file and similarly for package also. So, let us begin with the source code. Now, uh, what is source code? Now, if we look into this diagram, uh, the 16 cross 1 MUX is composed of how many logics? That is, how many individual logics are, are being used? That is, this uses only MUX 4 cross 1, multiplexer 4 cross 1. It never uses anything else. That is, it is not using uh, what encoder or decoder or an adder or something like that. It uses only and only multiplexer 4 cross 1. As a logic, it uses only one multiplexer 4 cross 1. So, for the source code, the number of logic, how many number of logic is required? That is, in this case, it is one. So, source code also will be for that basic building block. So, this is 4 cross 1 MUX. Similarly, the source code will be for 4 cross 1 MUX. So, let us begin with the uh, source code that is uh, for MUX 4 cross 1. If it uh, was composed of any else logic, then that logic will also come under source code. So, file F1 source code. I will start with this. Library IEEE use IEEE dot standard underscore logic underscore 1164 dot all entity mux 41 is on port that is uh, I is input so in standard underscore logic underscore vector as gradation is not required so 0 to 3 uh, s is uh, selected with msb and lsb so s in standard underscore logic underscore vector uh, 1 down to 0 and uh, y is the output so this is out standard underscore logic and with MUX41. Then architecture of this A underscore MUX41 of MUX41 is begin. We can do a data flow part programming or a behavioral programming. So it is up to the choices you make. So I will go for the behavioral part. with S select Y it is I naught when S is 0 0 else it is I 1 when it is 0 1 else it is I 2 when 1 0 else it is I 3 when others this is end with a underscore mux41. So, this is all with uh, the part of source code. That is all in the source code, nothing else. Because none of the else logic is being utilized. So, this can be freezed out. That is, this is source code and it is over. Nothing else is required. Now, component. Uh, let me show you why component is required. What I have to do is, I do not have to go get inside the multiplexer. I just have to join the pieces, join the input and output ports. That is, in this case, the output port of this multiplexer is going for the input port of this multiplexer. Similarly, this S1 and S0 are all joined and is available here. So, um, while designing, 
b means uh, while uh, packing the cords that is while connecting the cords uh, we do not have to understand we, we do not have to go get inside this multiplexer how it is being done it's up to it but what we are requiring is only the input and output ports knowledge that is all and where to connect that is one will give this output and the another will give it as input so the connections has are to be made so what we require is only the knowledge of input and output ports that is the knowledge of components ports so what we will do is uh, i'll this part will be copied and pasted in the component part so it's quite easy i'll write here that is file f2 file f2 component file f2 component so what i'll do is i'll write library i triple e use i triple e dot standard underscore logic underscore one one six four dot all then i'll write entity no not entity i'll write component and component of r yes that is mux four one that's all then quote copy and paste it nothing new in this i in standard underscore logic underscore vector zero to three then there is s in standard underscore logic underscore vector one down two zero and then there is y that is out that is standard underscore logic so nothing new in this end with component not with the name but component why i'll tell you because if in this instance it is not but if it uh, was having a more than one logic that is a multiplexer and also encoder and also decoder then what we can could have done is uh, source codes will be then there will be three source codes for multiplexer for encoder for decoder similarly there will be three components one for the multiplexer input output one for the encoder input output one for the decoder input output whatever logic may it uh, may be used in it's a separate issue but uh, we would uh, be having three components three ports for that so after writing all the three then we would, we would have ended the component that is why it is end component and this is this with file f2 then there is file f3 that is package so use i triple e dot standard underscore logic underscore one one six four dot all now a new thing library has been included now package name it as p underscore mux 41 is and inside that package there will be component there may be components because many components will be include, may be included in the similar in the single package but in this case it's only this component that is uh, mux and then there is port. So package inside the package there may be many components. In this case, it is one. So package in that component and the component will have the definition of its ports. So port that is i in standard underscore logic underscore vector. Okay, same thing. Zero to three. Just copy and paste it. And s in standard underscore logic underscore vector. One down to zero, and then there is y that is out that is standard underscore logic that is end with component and end with p 
So this is end of file F3. So file F1 has been done, file F2 and file F3. Another thing why package is required because package is helpful if we um, means again going to the analogy uh, for an instance if we are having uh, red color, green color and yellow color balls in a big box then what we can do is many balls are there so what we can do is we can make separate groups for yellow color ball in one packet and in one package red color in one package and yellow color in one package. So, in that um, case means our big box will contain of three individual different packages containing something else. So, in this case it uh, cannot be means justified because um, the same thing if we get inside this the same thing is component the same thing is package just the name is changing that is all but uh, in uh, means more when the more number of logics will be uh, used then uh, package can contain many number of components. So, that will facilitate us to use the package directly rather than using components individually. That is the advantage of package. And now uh, we will uh, go down to the main programming. So, main programming what I require from the main programming is uh, I have to call uh, call the source code means logic. What the source code tells us is so if we call the source code what means we will understand is uh, we'll have i input as four um, pins, s as two pins, and uh, y as single pin output. So, if we give the uh, logics as if we give the input as four input, two input, and one output, then we can perform this whole logic for that all. So, what we'll do is we'll call individually this, this, and this, and this, and this, and we'll do the programming. So, in the main programming, it will be actually uh, port mapping of calling. So. I'll start with the main program. So, as I require the source code, so to manage the space, I'll rub this component in package part. Excuse me for that, but uh, I'll require some space. Okay. So, I'll just rub this file F2 and F3 uh, because I do not require that. I require this package name, but uh, obviously it can be removed. So I'll start with the package. So I'll start with the main program. File F4, main program. Library I triple E use I triple E dot standard underscore logic underscore one one six four dot all. Now a new thing will be done. What is that? Is I'll use library work. What is that? I will tell you. Use work dot what is the package name? It is p underscore mux score 1 dot on. So, then I will start with the entirety. So, what is being done is these two are normal libraries that is library at Ripley and the package of 1164 has been added. Then I am defining another uh, part that is library work and then in that work I am including the package. Actually what will happen is how uh, it will get formulated is uh, library IEEE is there then 1164 that is the uh, digital package will be included then I am defining in that I am defining a workspace and in that work I am including package and in that package package contains component and components are referred from where from source code. So, actually by including the package the source codes are also referred and we can um, reduce our workspace to only the things those are required. So, that is why this whole library function has been uh, written. So, continuing that now I can rub this part because package name has been included, so I'll rub this part. That is entirety. Now the main programming is there, so you can write it as main program is port 
quote is for this whole part. So I in standard underscore logic underscore vector 0 to 15. Then S in standard underscore logic underscore vector 3 down to 0. And then there is Y as of standard underscore logic end with main program. So 16 inputs, 4 selection line and 1 output are defined. Now architecture A underscore main program of main program is begin no before beginning there has to be something in it because what is architecture in entity we just name the input and output ports but in architecture we get inside the structure okay get inside the structure now before starting the architecture every pin or every wire should be named we should have control over every wire. So if I put this, I will test this, it has been named, yes, it has been named I0 to I1 to I2, I3, I4, I up to I15, it has been named. If I test this, then it is also named. If I test this, it has also been named. But these are not named M0, M1, M2, M3, these are not named. So okay, name it. Then in the entity only we can name it. But no, there is a, again a logic to it that is this is output of this multiplexer where is input to this. So here it is output and here it is input. So obviously um, we are not having in or out standard logic. Another thing that is it is not in the entity part because entity is physically present. It's very important that is it is physically present to be mentioned in the entity but it is not physically present outside. We have to get inside the structure to get into the M0, M1, M2 and M3. So what it can be means obviously it will be under architecture. So what we can do is we will mention it under architecture under the name signal. That is very important. Signal. Signal M. It is in or out. For this it is out. For this it is in. So we will not write in or out. Signal M. It is just standard underscore logic underscore vector obviously. It's four of it, so uh, zero to three and all. So this is it. Signal M can consist of anything that is it can be given value of input or output or means in this case both. So now we can begin because now we are having all the definitions of all the wires. So begin stage zero. I'm referring to this. Then stage 1, then stage 2, then stage 2, then to stage 2. So stage 0, I will call the source code. Source code is what? Mux. Because I require this logic. Because individually I require this logic. So there is, while calling it will give us 4 input, 2 input, that is total 6 input and 1 output. And it will do the stuff for that. So similarly stage 0, Mux 4 1, port map means for this I am writing stage 0. Now MUX41 port map means we are having the definition, we are having the entire logic of MUX41 here. Just we have to give the input and output and it will do according to the logic that has been defined. So I will just give the input of this that is I023 S1 down to 0 and M0. So I023 input, input, 4 input are available, S1 down to 0, S is 3 down to 0, out of that 1 down to 0 means 2 input is also defined, input, input means it is having 4 and 2, 6 input are defined and output space is missing and that space is filled by the signal, this is the signal M0 is holding the space for the output. Similarly, stage 1, MUX. 4 1 
code map. This is the part that is I four to seven S one down to zero M one stage two max four one code map. I eight to eleven S one down to zero M two and stage three max four one code map I twelve to fifteen S one down Two zero M three. So this is all with the stage zero to one to zero to three. All four stages are being captured, are being done. Now the final stage, that is stage four. Again, it is also multiplexer for S two one. Okay, max four one code map. Now it is having inputs as M zero two three. These are outputs here, so it can be used as input here. Then S, this is having three and two. That is S three down to two. And output is Y. Y. And this is it. And this is all with end of programming, end architecture. That is A underscore main program. So this is all with the programming, structural programming for uh, Max sixteen plus one.